Welcome back. If you want to try ice fishing, but you just never have and you want to, perhaps this will be your year. We have Campbell Brook joining us. He has started a new business up near Sun Peaks called Elevated Fishing Adventures. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah. We're just talking on the break about the fact that uh, you are no stranger to Sun Peaks. You've worked up there in several different facets and now you've opened up this business. Yeah, uh, I came to Kamloops a few years ago and I did the uh, adventure program at TRU, the tourism program, and then I moved up to Sun Peaks uh, coming from downtown Toronto. Uh, I found Sun Peaks to be an amazing place and I've worked a lot of different jobs up there. It's uh, really cool and just sharing the new experiences with guests has always been fun. Mm -hmm. So I started, uh, started a business, Elevated Fishing Adventures, I fully guided ice fishing door to door just to uh, share that experience with people who uh, don't get a chance to do it uh, from where they're from. So if you're from downtown Toronto, where did you, be, where did you find the love for being an ice fisherman? Uh, I lived in downtown Toronto, but I spent most of my childhood uh, up in Georgian Bay, about two and a half hours there north of go. Toronto. So I grew up essentially, you know, out of the city, mm -hmm. out of cottage with no power, uh, no cell phone, no internet, no TV. Yeah. So I grew up fishing, canoeing, and being outside, and that's where I, uh, that's where I got my passion for the outdoors. Awesome. So this is one of your first loves, that nice fishing. Absolutely. Uh, fishing year-round has always been a passion of mine, mm -hmm. but uh, ice fishing around Kamloops, especially when I moved to Kamloops, uh, and going to TRU, uh, I did almost 100 days a year ice fishing. Seriously? During the winter, yeah. So you eat a lot of fish. Absolutely, yeah. Like uh, serious fish. The fish taste great in the wintertime. Yeah. So uh, the guests can keep fish depending on where they're staying yeah. in uh, the village. Yeah. I clean them up for them, give them a recipe, things like that. So I do eat a lot of fish, a lot of wild game. What lake are you on here? Uh, these photos, uh, some of these are from Edith Lake, oh, which is really close yep. to Kamloops. Yep. Uh, just on the other side, it was one of my favorite lakes while I was in the city here. But uh, now that I live up in Sun Peaks and on the mountain, I'll be guiding on Little Hefley and Big Hefley Lake. Awesome. Depending on the group that comes out, you know, I want people to catch fish, I want people to have fun and get to stand on a frozen lake, which is uh, not available in a lot of places around the That's world. That's true. Uh, is there a big art to ice fishing? Yes and no. Uh, it can be, but uh, it is really easy. It's really family friendly. If you go out to any of the lakes in Sun Pe or in uh, Kamloops, you'll see big groups of families out there. Mm -hmm. It's easy for anyone to try. You don't need any experience uh, to get out there on the ice. And there's essentially no age limit. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take your kids out there. It's safe, it's easy, and it's fun. And uh, bring some hot chocolate, bring some snacks, and hopefully catch some fish. Would you say it's easier to catch, catch a fish via ice fishing than it is in the summer? Absolutely. I think it ice is, fishing hey? is one of the easiest ways to catch fish. Really? Uh, there's, again, no experience required. You don't need to, to learn how to fly fish or to tie your own flies. You can just pick up a rod, uh, put a worm on a hook, and drop it on the ice, and you have a very good chance of catching a fish. What's the time limit usually? Like, what do you find? Half an hour to an hour? Or you that depends. Uh, I've been out many times, of course. Sometimes it is within seconds of dropping your line in the ice. Yeah. Uh, you'll start catching fish, or sometimes you have to wait for a school to come by. Sure. But uh, you can catch quite a few fish in uh, the three hours that we'll be spending on the ice on my tours. Okay, so they're three hours usually? It's uh, four hours door to door. Uh, yeah. I'll be picking people up at their house in Sun Peaks, wherever they're staying, taking them to the lake getting all the gear set up, setting up a hut with a heater to keep them warm, getting the baits in the water, telling them some stories, hopefully catch some fish for three hours on the ice, and then uh, back into the village so they can get back out to skiing, back out to other things. Awesome. Tell me this, if somebody wants to make this a Christmas gift for their family mm -hmm. or for their friends, is that something they can do? Absolutely. You can contact the Adventure Center mm -hmm. uh, in Sun Peaks is where you book all your activities through. Uh, between dog sledding, you know, canoeing and ice fishing now. Uh, you call the Adventure Center and uh, book a time, book a schedule, and then all they need to do is tell me where to pick them up, and I will be there to pick them up uh, at their, wherever they're staying, hotel, house, condo, and I'll take them to the lake and take them out ice fishing. Uh, groups of up to four people. It sounds like a really fun experience. It's unique. It's Canadian. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people who have never seen a frozen lake before. They're visiting Sun Peaks from maybe Australia or parts of Europe. Wow. So standing on a frozen lake is uh, is a definitely a uniquely Canadian experience. Yeah. And that's what uh, that's what I want to share with uh, the guests. Awesome. Campbell Brick, thank you for being here. Is there anything else you wanted to add that you haven't uh, talked about? Nope. Just if you're uh, in the area, come on up to Sun Peaks. There's lots to try. There's lots of new stuff. And uh, I came down this morning. There is a ton of snow, so you can get up there and get out skiing. Awesome. Good. All right. Are you skiing yet? Have you skied? I have yet. It's Good. awesome. Good. Snow. Awesome, Campbell. Yeah. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you. If you would like to learn more information, you can go over to the Sun Peaks website as well on Facebook, Elevated Fishing Adventures. Phone number on the screen. We're back uh, in a quick minute. Stay with us.